Ladies and gentlemen, before we start this recording that I made during War 100, I want to make note that this is my first time attempting one of these, and uh, I mixed it pretty poorly with the uh, source file. As a result of this, the file has... Uh, I am the same level as everyone else, if not a bit lower, so it's difficult to hear me at times, so also everyone else is a squeaker. So I do recommend you turn down your volume to your liking. There is a volume warning in this uh, short video. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just give you a little bit of backstory for this short. Uh, we were focusing on a front on the fingers. I think it was called the Rush or the Tusk. Uh, currently, it was day 1070-ish. I was supposed to say this in the recording. And currently, we were being pushed back to the... Relic Fort in that zone. We are the most southernest point. Uh, I will also put up a map on screen now. Well, I will have had. Uh, just showing you where we are. With that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to my first ever recording of Tales from the Front. Thank you for listening. Chief, you can't. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the front, this is Bob with Bob's Fox on News, currently on the front of the fingers. Oh, I believe it is day 1070 And currently, I'm going to start like in the face, hurry up. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got blood on my uniform for a minute. What's the port? Just give me the port. What's your name, sir? Um, 58 just call me medic. I'm here with a classic mind. medic who's currently bloody from the amount of surgery he has done in the field. Uh, medic, tell me, how's the world going to be you? Yeah, What's honestly, could have be going worse. I've been doing, I've been doing pretty good. I, I, met, I met this other medic, I met this other medic recently, I had a role, she's a nice guy. I'm about to end with all of that. Recently, I've had a traded guy who got hit by a tank, shot directly. No idea how he survived. Yeah, 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 but he somehow did. Stopped on his leg, arm, and head, everywhere. That's how I got all yeah, bloodied up here. Bravest guy I've ever seen. We need ammo for the EAT, guys. Someone get 68 mil down here. Bring 68 mil down uh, for the red. moment. We are currently at, I believe, 15 victory towns to the Colonials 20. How does that make you feel? Well, it's a sign that we gotta be doing better, but also it's a sign that, god damn, this war is pointless. Uh, that is some very anti uh, war sentiment right there. You're gonna turn into a uh, dead hand, I believe they're called. Grenade! Meh. Oh god! Infantry sound. They yeah. wanna kill the press, you fucks! God damn it! Get over here! Come on, let's do this on the board. Let's do this on the board. Look out! Oh, fuck. Let's do some more place. Yeah. Come on, over here. Oh shit, you died, bro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see, what did, what did the press on? Oh, no, no. Fuck, you have us alone. That's sent, that, that's the difference between opinions and sentiments, you know? People have opinions. Yes, yes, the press, yes, you know, of course, of course. Guess I guess I messed up, like. When you're a medic, you see people die a lot. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, a lot of deaths just seem pointless. And when you notice one death being pointless, you kind of try to realize that a lot of deaths are pointless. The, the deaths that are in vain really a number of the deaths that meant something, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of, course, of course, of course. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's all. So, tell me, how many uh, wars have you uh, done, good sir? How many wars have you done? Well, um, it's my second, it's my second one. Second one? So you were with uh, previous war 99, right? Yes, I was. Excellent. Uh, for the listeners at home, currently we are at War 100 with the Fox Hill Wars. In terms of uh, the count of how many wars that happened in SIVA, obviously there's 100, but the amount of years in conflict have been around 72 years. For me personally, I have been around since War 70, I believe War 60-ish. And uh, the game has changed a lot from the very start. We could use to chat to. Uh, Hello, to medic. Sons. I could use a bandage. Oh, of oh God, you're great. Oh God. Your story was so interesting. I decided to jump off the cliff to listen a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, over here, ladies and uh, listeners, is a uh, officer currently looking with binoculars. His name is, I believe, Mr. Uh, Waifu. Is that correct? Yes. Right. So anyway. Oh God. So currently, at the very start... Uh, give me a second. Oh, good. Currently, uh, around War 16 Beyond, I believe they started to get rid of the implementation of voice chat to both sides. 
So back in the old days, you could talk to your enemies while you were bayoneting them and scream into your mics. I mean, uh, into their faces. Ooh, that sounds fun. It, you, it was very fun indeed. Now, however, due to the uh, amount of people that are joining and whatnot, this was a while ago, mind you, they decided to get rid of this function to save on, I believe, resources within the game. So unfortunately, we cannot chat to the other side apart from uh, texting. There has been a majority of Foxhole players who want this um, feature back due to the fact that it created very fascinating stories. I remember one person where I was injured and a colonial brother saved me. It was very wholesome until I led him into a trap and killed him. Yeah, fun days. Oh, I, I remember keeping a colonial as a pet. Oh. Oh, yeah, those days. <laughs> yeah, speaker, yeah, I think, speaker who dragged him back. Uh, he came with us safely, unarmed. Uh, we thought he had a bomb, but he didn't. He just stood on top of a machine gun bunker. Oh, I, I got a question for you, too. What he may or may not have gotten executed store? at some point. Yeah. Have any of you had a have any of you had an encounter where, like, the mercy was shown by either side in, in any way? Uh, yes. No, there well, was, sometimes. Uh, yeah, there was a Once there in a blue moon. moon. Yeah, I have this very, very famous story. There was uh, a front that was going on, very early. I think this was 75, I'm probably wrong on that. And fighting was going Wait, give me a second. I, I, I said down guy, I gotta get him. Okay, go for it. God damn it. Uh, rule 75. Get the dog to him, I'll, I'll be back. Alright, we're good. So rule 75. Uh, currently there's a bridge battle. save a life. We managed to broker a temporary truce for about an hour, give or take, as both of our sides had to wear an extreme shirt. Then on the next day of Perk of Dawn, both, uh, both sides resumed the fighting. However, the lives were saved on that day, but in the end, true war does not matter for short pieces, for short time pieces. In terms of the Foxhole Wars Thank you. themselves, it requires a near full route of the other enemy before the war is concluded. We're currently needing uh, five victory towns left on the warden or colonial side to consider a total victory. On the topic of mercy, uh, I, I've had a couple times uh, stories of uh, basically after after we run after we run an area, we basically run all the coolies out. All I had in my search for for wounded people, I'll end up finding a lot of coolies that are critically wounded. But uh, they're in comas, unconscious, or simply too weak to move. And, well, of course, we treat the ones that we can, because prisoners of war are, are always useful, but a lot of times there's no field hospital. They get destroyed in the bombings, or there's just none being built. Okay, in those cases, I typically. In those cases, what do you do when you. What do you do with the corpses? I typically put them by a river, you know, where they can die quietly, you know? Die peacefully without hearing gunshots and artillery all the time, you know? It honestly does not matter in most eyes of the medic corps within the warden to no colonial regions. In the end, it doesn't yeah. truly matter in this war where you die, because in fact, this war has suffered, I believe, 5,300,000 casualties, which, mind you, has broken a recent record of War 96 being around 4,600,000. Do note, listeners and viewers at home, that War 96 wasn't the longest war. In fact, that was a previous war, lasting 42 days, in terms of uh, real-life days. However, this war, ladies and gentlemen, has lasted for 44 days and still is continuing. We may see more bloodshed on our wake, ladies and gentlemen, and we may even get to 2,000 days. But who knows, ladies and gentlemen? Who truly knows? I have a question for you guys. What's, what's your retirement plans? My retirement plan is I'm going to go in the middle of the woods and build a shack. <laughs> My retirement plan, rookie, is nothing. I shall continue to broadcast until the day I die. With that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I now conclude my show. I hope you enjoyed this little segment of Tales from the Front. Back to you at the studio.